Hey YouTube, today I'm gonna to be reviewing one of my all-time favorite Star Wars and Clone Wars sets, the Clone Turbo Tank from 2010. I got this for Christmas of that year, and uh, I had wanted this since the original came back out, came out back in 2005, uh, cause I was a little kid, I was eight, I think when Revenge of the Sith came out. Uh, so this was like a huge set, I always wanted this, I built my own versions of it, and then they came out with a remake in 2010, so, this has always been one of my favorite sets. I've had it forever now. Uh, but yeah, the uh, set number is 8098, ages 9 to 14. It has 1,141 pieces. And this was my biggest Lego set for a long time. Um, and it was $120 back in the day. Um, I think it's kind of uh, agreed upon across the whole Lego Star Wars community. This is probably the best clone turbo tank, although that 2015, 2016 turbo tank uh, it does look really nice. Uh, it's just way too small. And then the old one is the original, but doesn't hold up to either of the two newer ones. Uh, but yeah, let's start over here with the minifigures. So you get six minifigures in this set. Um, the first one here is Cad Bane. That's the Clone Wars version. You can see him there. Um, I think there is one other set that this guy came out in, and that was, I think, Cad Bane's speeder. It's one of those Coruscant speeders. Um, he uses the, um, older clone, um, blaster pistols. They're like a different plastic than the regular Lego ABS plastic. Um, so they do like kind of scratch a little bit easier. Uh, but you can see there he's got that huge brown, uh, cowboy fedora hat. It's not a fedora, but <laughs> a cowboy hat. Uh, really interesting. Um, and then he's got those red eyes and that nice blue plastic for his head. Kind of got that nose thing going in the middle. He's got his uh, breathing tubes um, on the printed onto his face, as well as a special molded piece that they had that you can put around his neck. Um, and then he's got his leather jacket there with a bunch of metallic printing and kind of ammunition belts strapped around his waist. Uh, he doesn't have any back printing and he doesn't have any leg printing. Um, but yeah, this is a very uh, nice figure. Whoa. And I'm sure Lego will be making a new one soon, new Cad Bane soon, since he's been in um, the Bad Batch and in the Book of Boba Fett. Um, now, next we have an exclusive figure to this set. This was our first, like, Twi'lek, besides the old Bib Fortuna. So it was our first set with, like, those head tails. Uh, this is a really awesome figure back in the day. And uh, I was, like, a teenage boy when it came out. So, um... Yeah, she doesn't wear the most modest clothes, so I, I was very appealed. I found that very appealing. But anyway, she has a blue lightsaber. Uh, she's got uh, that really nice custom molded headpiece with um, the uh, printing there for all the the, wrap, the head tail wrap kind of thing. Um, she's got some negative space printed for her hips. You know, she is female, and she's got kind of that um, top thing with the kind of like, like different pattern on each side of her torso and uh, no leg printing but that doesn't really affect anything she does have one arm that has a sleeve there and then an arm that doesn't and she does include back printing with the same kind of pattern on her um, uh, torso or her top piece and she has a blue lightsaber uh, next you get two of your standard um, at this era clones um, you can see there the normal Clone Wars clone head, and they came with both long blasters and medium blasters. And these, you got two of them, they're just the standard guys. Uh, next you got your standard Clone Wars Anakin, uh, I've reviewed him before, same thing, uh, no alternate face, just that, no bag printing, he's pretty standard, he's got a black armor on top of his black robes. Um, and then next you got your teenage Ahsoka. Similarly, both women in this set not dressed very modestly for a kid's toy, but whatever. Um, she had that older yellowy green lightsaber and a uh, nice um, custom head piece there. I don't think it's been used on any other characters. Um, but yeah, no back printing again. And yeah, that's a great set. Now this is interesting. Lego really made this just clone uh, Republic uh, sided. Usually they provide some opposition, whether it's a couple of battle droids or whatever. But this one's just almost all Republic and then Cad Bane. I'm pretty sure Cad Bane's not even in this scene where this 
um, tank shows up, neither is Ayla Sakura. So it's really just those four. But yeah, let's get onto the set here. So here's your clone turbo tank. And I'll give you some different shots of it. You can see it there. Um, actually, let's get it in the light so we can see it better. So there's the front, or I think that's actually the back. I always want to say, I'm not sure which is the front and which is the back, but it can go either way. It has a cockpit on both ends, so that's the advantage of this ship. Um, but up here, I'll call this the front for now, because it's kind of the front on the box. You've got this little cannon up here, and you can open this whole setup all over the place. And you've got two seats in there for two troops, and you can put additional figures in the back. And you've got a printed console there, one of the older style consoles, but printed on a black slope. And you got two um, handles, joysticks, whatever you want to call them there, for the, whichever one is piloting the ship. And you can just assume the other guy is the gunner. Uh, but you can fold that back up. You've got some headlights up here. These are hatches that I think in the uh, real ship or the real tank, they would extend up and it was like a lookout post. Uh, that doesn't isn't a feature on this set. Uh, you've got two double um, cannons down here. These are your main cannons with two additional lights on each side. You've got 20 of these wheel pieces here. There's two on each wheel. Uh, so that's a really nice way to get that big piece um, and get a large quantity of it. Um, on the side here, you've got some windows simulated as well as on the front. And you've got some red striping for the Republic. you got this thing. I don't know what it does. I think it spins around and shoots stuff, shoots missiles out or something. I don't really know. Um, going on to the side here, you got some little greebling going on. It's nice. Uh, all this stuff opens up and I'll show you that later. Uh, you've got this, uh, I think that's the Republic military logo or the Republic Navy logo. I'm not really sure. You know, you've got your, uh, you've got uh, that logo there on the uh, V-19 Torrent, but you've also got this logo here, which you see on like the Venator. Uh, I don't remember what the difference is. But uh, there is a difference. Um, you've got more windows simulated here. Like I said, both sides are a uh, piloting side or piloting sides. Inside, you got a similar thing. You've got one control stick for each character who you can sit on the two black seats and you can put an additional figure in the back. Um, and you can just close this up again. It's really smooth. The gaps are pretty small. And then you've got a turret up here, which you can actually stick a clone trooper in. It spins around 360. You can kind of adjust the angle of it, but uh, I just like to leave it like that. Um, let's see. The other side is identical, so I won't go around and show that. You've got kind of like a little walking spot up here with some handrails. Uh, interesting about this set, uh, this doesn't open, or this opens, but there's nothing inside of it. Uh, interesting about this set, you know, there is the Republic dropship with ATOT. This has a handle, which is the same handle that they use on the ATOT and the ATTE. So you can pick up uh, this set with the dropship, just like the other two big Republic kind of land vehicles from the Clone Wars, Lego Star Wars era. And finally, you've got another cannon up here, which is actually a flick fire missile cannon, but uh, it's really hard to flick off. You end up just breaking that whole thing off uh, like that. So um, I never do use that. Uh, let's see, down in the main bay here, it's really cramped up here. But um, if you were had any extra pieces, like a, a single 6 by 10 uh, gray base plate or a little plate, you could just pop that in there and you could fit a bunch of clones in. But uh, here's what comes with the set. You get this nice ATRT. Honestly, this is probably the best ATRT Lego's done. Um, you know, I think the 2016 Turbo Tank has one as well. So that one might be good too. I don't remember what it looks like. But uh, this scale is perfect for an ATRT. Those 501st Battle Packs are just like garbage. <laughs> They're huge. They look absolutely ridiculous. But you can see here, I'll put it next to a troop. Like that is perfect, awesome scale. Um, and it looks really good too. Um, the green is a little bit, I would have preferred like olive green, but olive green, I don't think was a color in 2010. Uh, they had sand green, but not olive green. Anyway. Uh, sand green might have even looked better than this regular green. But yeah, it's a nice ATRT, like I've been saying. It's got a little cannon down there. The legs are very adjustable. Uh, inside here, you've got uh, two control panels. Let's see if I can get that camera to work. Ugh, it's dark. Um, anyway, you got two control panels there. You can't really see it. It's too dark in there. You've got these two like uh, 
I'll just call them refrigerator doors uh, that open up um, and you could put clone armor in there. You know, all these sets came with clone armor. Uh, on the other side, you can lift up that ratcheted hinge hatch thing, slide this down and Lego, like the gunship, uh, like to include little command centers with their clone sets. So you can fold this up. That's what those two prints that I was trying to show inside, these are the same prints. Uh, so you can see them there. They use them on lots of sets, or they used to use them on lots of sets. Uh, you can put two figures in the command center, kind of like like that, but you know, you can sit them down. Um, yeah, so that's a nice little feature. And you got a bunch of yellow and red inside there. It doesn't look the best, but um, you know, you don't see it once it's folded up. And then up there, this is, this was, I think the year that they came out that two by four tile. You know, they use them all the time now, but to get one there and there and a few other spots on this set was really cool back in 2010. I was amazed with those tiles. They were so cool to look at. They're so smooth. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's look at the underside of the set here. Let me fold it up. Back up here. And you can see the underside here. There it is. Um... You know, it just kind of goes around there. Looks really cool. It's all open underneath, but you know, you're not gonna really see that very often. Uh, it is one of those sets that comes with those cool spring elements. So you can really uh, turn this. So yeah, let me show you how you uh, kind of drive this thing. So you can kind of do just, it's really smooth, glides really easily. Um, but yeah, you can just push down and it'll turn over here. And you can do the same thing on the other side. We'll go over there. Yeah, it was really fun to play with. Now I was like, I was 13 or 14 when this came out, this version. So I was a little bit past my like playing days, but I was really into stop motion and just creating mocks. So uh, this was a great set to add to any kind of Clone Wars mock I would make. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see, that's all that there is for the set. Um, fantastic set. Um, still the best turbo tank, would recommend getting it if you're a big Clone Wars Republic era fan. Um, let's get onto the box here really quick. Uh, one thing that's interesting is you can see Ahsoka's lightsaber looks yellow and it's got a sparkle kind of effect added to it. And Ayla Sakura's lightsaber is, has like lightning on it. And then Anakin's lightsaber is just like nothing. So whoever edited this, you know, didn't do the best job, but whatever. Uh, there's your... ATRT, I think it's there on Felucia based on all that uh, plant stuff. And also the, uh, I think that's where the Clone Wars episode is based. But uh, anyway, so that's the box. I got that Captain Rex Thunderstorm box art or main, you know, logo of this era. Other sets, General Grievous' Starfighter, the second best one. There's that uh, Palpatine's um, like Republic shuttle. Um, not his Imperial shuttle, and uh, that's a fantastic set. And um, then you've got your second or third version of the Slave One. Um, let's see. Yep, there's all your features. We went through those. Yeah, I didn't really display that, but these wheels kind of move independently, so you could build your own terrain and have this thing just crush over all the rocks and stuff. Really cool. Uh, set came with two instruction manuals here. You can see. Um, you know, the first one just ends on an empty page. And on the back of the second one here, you've got, you know, a nice little uh, thing here. You can have Grievous fight all of them. And then you've got your ARC-170. We really need a remake of that. Your uh, Droid Tri-Fighter. You need a remake of that one, too. Uh, let's see what else. Is there anything else cool here? Nope. But you can see they're advertising with the old, the previous year's box art. And there's the new box art, so kind of interesting. Anyway, that's my review of the uh, Clone Turbo Tank from 2010. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.